Hi guys, it's Matthew Hawk Talon, and I'm going to do a gear and deck setup on my Death Ronin Titanbringer. So, this guy, this is one of my favorite favorite characters. Death is actually my second favorite school. Um, and I just like the spirit schools in general. I know I mentioned that before. So, um, let's get right into it. So, right now, I'm actually going to start with the gear. Um, for the gear, you just want to use the full commander gear. Um, this, this this um all bought from diego outside the arena um for the wand at level 30 um as a magus this is definitely the best wand with that universal damage i might eventually try to get the mandolin of evermore for this guy um because i've seen other maguses on the leaderboards who have been using this or that wand, and maybe i'll, I'll combine combine that with a life mastery and um see if i can play around with that for the Thame, you want to use Hard Steel, and then later on, I'm going to save up for the du Duelist Fatal Razor um, from Brand the Mistborn, just to get better damage and power pip. Um, that's really important for this level. For the Amulet, um, as I said, I might switch to a Life Mastery later on, but um, for now, I was I'm just using the Weakness Amulet, a level 10 plus Amulet, just from the Bazaar. Um, I might also switch to a balance or a myth mastery. I could always experiment with that. Um, the myth's just for bigger hits like Basilisk and stuff, which I can use my blades, uh, my spirit blades, both death and myth. Um, and for the balance mastery, I could use that for reshuffles and also um, judgment. So for the ring, you want to use Duelist's Daredevil ring. Um, if you before you get this, I was before I got this, I was just using this tournament ring from the bazaar, uh, mainly just for the heal boosts. But this is definitely the best. Uh, again, from Brandon Mistborn, outside the arena. Uh, for the pet, I'm just using this pet. Seems to be a trend on most of my characters. Um, I might change it up eventually. Um, I sometimes go for. I think I have it. Oh, this one, but uh, double damage. Um, I might try to get proof or get a pet would prove for that. Um, but for now, I prefer this, especially for the Enfeeble. Because again, a lot of wizards use bl a lot of blades at Magus, and it really helps. And the critical, as you can see, for Magus is 6%. So I actually do critical once in a while, and that can really like come in clutch for some of the matches. Um, for the deck, I like to use the deck of the Lotus. Um, if you might... No, um, if you look in the bazaar, you'll see another 30 plus deck. I don't know if I have it. A yeah, deck of the Banshee. It's 30 plus and it might look better because it's no auction, but really the deck space, um, 40 to 50, deck of the Lotus is the one you want to use. <clears throat> so let's talk about the deck. So the deck right now, um, on most of my characters, I like to put all the utilities and blades and stuff in the main deck and carry most of the hits inside. So, um, to start off, you want to train Ice the Tower, um, Balance the Weakness, and you want to train, um, for Astral stuff, um, only Cloak. So, what you want to start by doing is putting four Tower Shields in. Um, this is especially good because there's a lot of balances at Magus, and you'll face a lot of them. Um, the four Volcanic Shields, mostly for Storms, but also for Fires, you face a good amount of them. You want to have a specific shield to them. Uh, the cloaks are great, especially for weaknesses and infections, just so they don't know what they have on them. Um, it can confuse them or get bait them into, into um, like healing with an infection on when they think they have a weakness on, or something like that. Uh, just to, yeah, just so they don't know what you're using on them. So the f three pixies, these are pretty good heals. Um, at this level, you really don't need a master to heal, since you don't get... Um, I never get full power pips, um, so that's a good way to use white pips. Uh, the four minions are great. If you can summon a minion around four or five pips, it loves to use Fire Elf to break shields, and also weaknesses um, to make your enemy deal less damage to you. The four Death Blades are great, especially with these Sharpened Blade item cards from the pet. Um, just so you can get a lot of stack blades and um, make your hits do a lot more. The Dream Shields are great, um, especially for lives with a Myth Mastery, or just lives and Myths in general. Um, just to have another specific shield. 
the feints good, um, either to counter feints. Um, some balances like to stack feints. So if you can counter your feint, use a feint when they use a feint, um, it'll take your feints 30 before their 70 um, from their feint. Oh, okay. So, and then the three infections, they're a good way to suppress heals. Um, I use them over Doom because Doom, um, with a low base health of a Magus, Doom could easily backfire. And um, even with Drains, I prefer to use Infection. The two plagues are just to <clears throat> you have another weakness to use on opponents. The two poisons are great just to break shields. Um, maybe just so you don't have to draw for them on your side. The sacrifices are good both for getting rid of feints. And for healing um, when you're about to die. The Skeletal Pirates just to have um, have another damage hit if you need it. The Death Dispel is good for other deaths or people who want to infection you and stuff. You could also cloak that and they might think it's a weakness or something. Uh, the two Vampires, these are just mainly for minions if you have no blades on. A uh, good way to get um, extra health from um, eating, like, eating health from a minion. The four spear blades are good, especially with these sharpened blades again, so you can have extra blades. Uh, the four weaknesses are great because um, you can cloak them again and just to weaken over times and stuff. And then the two weaknesses inside are also great, so you can stack up to three weaknesses, regular, plague, and then weakness itself. So for the side deck, you want to keep two triages for people who like to go for big over times. Um, that can happen with like heck hounds, uh, mainly at this level. The stun's great because many people won't expect you to stun. Um, and without using a myth mastery with like Medusa's that stun, um, it's good to have just a separate stun. E either you can use it after you hit or when you're about to die. So you can spare yourself an extra round to heal or something. Uh, the three infallibles, they're great to spike damage before hitting. Um, they're like a 40 blade for um, four rounds and they really help when you're hitting your opponent especially since a lot of your opponents at this level will use commander gear and they'll have a lot of resist so it's good to cut that down the one dr. Vaughn is just uh, one shot your opponent um, especially if you're going first this is a great way to get health back and do a lot of damage to death the three poisons are great shield breakers um, if you want to start hitting with drains to get health back uh, the skeletal dragons are bigger um, over time, so if you want a skeletal dragon and poison next to um, avoid a triage, it's always great to do that. With a lot of blades, the skeletal dragon does a ton of damage. Um, for the vampires, the three vampires are great for the heal back and to take out minions also, if you really want a better heal back. Uh, because the minion has no resist. The rage is the bigger drain again. Um, like the Dr. Von monster, and just does a lot of damage. The one reshuffle is for those longer matches, and then the three scorpions are very important. They're um, to take out minions, so they do a lot of damage. I sometimes, this is, on this character, I like to change this deck around a lot. Um, I've experimented with Shatter and other stuff such as Doom and Ghouls and stuff, but um, this deck should work fine. If you also want to draw in... Um, maybe a skeletal pirate, or um, if you have any diddly minotaurs, those would also be helpful for this strategy. Um, basically, any hits are fine, as long as you have some good drains and some overtimes. Um, okay, so, oh, well, let's show you the stats in general. So the stats right now is 39 damage. This will definitely go up once I get the, the theme from Brandon Mistborn. Uh, the resist is 54. This is really good to tank um, people and stay alive. The accuracy is 16 universal, just so you can't fizzle any of your death attacks and stuff. The armor piercing is one that always helps. The power pip's not that great right now, but um, with that theme, it'll definitely improve. And the healing's not that great either. At the rating right now is 1500. Um, I'll, I'm trying to get this guy to leaderboards. It would be pretty good because currently there are no um, Magus stats that are exactly level 30 on the leaderboards. So it would be cool to be uh, unique. So hope you enjoyed. Um, these PVPs are really interesting to watch. And yeah, bye.